Hello everybody, it's Hammy here, and today, in this video, I am going to be running you through the fastest method for completing the Kyo Pariku Heist solo. Let's get into the video. So guys, like I said, in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to complete the Kyo Pariku Heist solo much quicker than ever before. However, to ensure that I don't drag this video out completely, I am going to only show you the points which I think will save you the most time. Because of this, I have decided to divide this video into two parts. The first part being the intel gathering section, which is the part that tends to take people the most time. And the second part being the finale of the heist. The finale is obviously going to be the part where you get your money, however there is going to be an even quicker method of doing this posted on my channel in the very near future. However, if you're not trying to do the replay glitch, you will want to do this method to ensure that you complete the heist legitly, but really, really quickly. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. So the first step is obviously to get the drug smuggling plane for going over to the Cayo Perico Island. Unfortunately this is all just luck of the draw as it could spawn anywhere on any of the three beach locations. Unfortunately I got I think the furthest away one from where my location was and there are quicker ways to get to these such as moving your submarine while you are still in it. My suggestion would be to invest in a Sparrow helicopter which can be parked in the moon pool of your Kasatka as this will save you a lot of time when it comes to travelling over to the plane. This will also make the other setups a lot quicker unless you decide to use the oppressor and just try and park it on a smooth part on top of the Kasatka. After you get over to the plane, you're going to go ahead and fly over to the island and I have sped this gameplay up just because, I mean, it's, it's pretty boring. It's just flying up to a plane and then flying back down the map again. On the island, I'm going to show you the exact route you have to follow to ensure that you complete the gather intel section in the fastest possible time. I think on average this takes me maybe about 3 to 5 minutes um, and that includes the hacking and the checking of the security cameras to see what the primary and secondary targets are. Unfortunately if you are doing this solo you will only be able to get the primary target so if you know going into it that the primary target is all you're getting there is no point wasting your time scoping the other stuff. If you are going to go ahead and do this with friends however and get some of them secondary targets my recommendation would be to try and get gold. If you do it with two people that is the best number in my opinion and you only need three piles of gold to fill up two people's bags. This means you can get the elite challenge which is something that everybody would like to get. And if you get this on hard difficulty and complete the elite challenge, you're going to get 100,000 extra dollars each. And if you do it on normal difficulty, you're going to get $50,000. Also guys, to ensure that you get your heist set up on hard difficulty, all you're going to want to do is make sure that within 38 minutes of completing the heist, you go ahead and purchase the next heist. It only costs $25,000 to set up, so I would recommend just paying for it even if you're not going to go ahead and do anything yet. This will just ensure that you get a 10% pay increase for all members that join the heist. Once you've scoped out the island, you're going to go ahead and get yourself caught and simply walk over to the plane and send yourself back to Los Santos. After this, you're going to go ahead and complete all the other setups. Uh, which I can't really give you any tip for completing quickly. All I can recommend is you get yourself a sparrow and an oppressor and you should be able to get this whole heist done within 30 to 45 minutes. Moving on to the finale however, I am going to show you the exact route that you should go for killing people. I would also recommend that at some point during the gather intel section of the heist you go ahead and scope out the drainage tunnel. This is going to make the heist so much quicker when you do the finale and you only have to scope this out once, however the setup for the Kasatka 
takes a little bit longer. You can go ahead and do this with the long fin and just drive around to the same part, but I would recommend just going with the Kasatka, especially if you're going to do the replay glitch. Once you get yourself through the grate of the drainage tunnel and up onto the compound, you're going to follow the exact route that I take. You will take out the first guard on the balcony, the second guard under the archway, and then the security camera and third guard by the secondary target storage room. From here you're going to head up towards the main office building, kill the guard off to the side at the gate, and one of these guards should drop the key. You don't necessarily need the gate keys as you can just go on to the right when you're exiting, however if you have them it will make things that little bit easier. The main thing you need to focus on is getting the two vault key cards. The next opponent that you're going to have to kill is the guy at the bottom of the stairs, and as you've killed him you can make your way up the stairs and kill the final guard as he's walking down. Head into the office and complete the fingerprint scanner hack. From here you're simply going to go down the stairs and steal the primary target like you normally would. There will not be any guards assuming that you haven't been caught up until this point. As you exit you're going to go down the stairs and either out the gate or around to the right hand side and up the stairs there. There will be two guards there, however one of them you may be able to avoid. In this case I decided to kill him anyway, but um, you don't always have to kill him, sometimes he walks a little bit further away. From here you're going to go ahead and use the gate to exit the compound. As you walk up the driveway you can kill the first guy by the motorbike as he will not be looking at you. The second guy will be away from the two having the conversation, and the two having the conversation are going to be the most tricky but you can do it if you are quick enough. There shouldn't be any more guards in sight, however there will be one more security camera, so make sure to take that out before you leave. Then you're simply going to steal a motorbike and follow the exact route that I take. This is going to take you off the island and then you're just going to swim as far away as possible. This is going to take a little while, but it means that you don't have to go to the boat and you can simply just swim away from the island and complete the heist this way. As you can see, I completed the entire heist finale in 9 minutes and 10 seconds. This could have been cut down a little bit more if I'd have moved a bit quicker. However, I wanted to make sure I got it right first time. So, you know, that's why I didn't complete it in a very fast time. Anyway guys, that is all from me, hopefully you have enjoyed and hopefully this has helped you with your Kaio Perico heist finale and intel gathering needs. If you have enjoyed, please remember to drop a like down below, comment what your favourite heist in the entire game is, share the video with your friends who are looking to make some quick money on GTA 5 online, and subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks and tutorials on GTA 5 online. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.